Christmas, I decided I'm going to do a little special here, and uh, for my review, I'm going to review uh, the specials on ho uh, holiday MMOs. Uh, so, to be quite honest, I have a few MMOs that I do play on a regular basis. Three, in fact, and I'll explore both of them in some detail to you. First place to start off with on this review is the oldest game I play, Anarchy Online. Being that this is the older game, there's actually quite a few things to do. But unlike most MMOs, AO doesn't give you any new baddies to pummel over the head. Instead, they give you a few short quests for finding items and go on off to run for other things you might need to get these quests done. And in turn, you actually get a, quite a large list of holiday special items. So far, I got a tree, which I could actually put in my apartment. But it's just the beginning as there's probably social clothing and food items and other things that you could easily use. And it's really meant for the people who really don't feel like going off and killing something constantly to try and get their loots. And also for those who don't feel like going after demented elves. Now this isn't what one would probably expect out of an MMO, but for what it is, and being an older game, it's not bad. It's no uh, pumpkin head fights, but you get some nice items. Second on the list is CA Heroes. Younger than AO and uh, older than the next game I'm going to talk about, CA Heroes has had a long standing tradition of the holiday special being the fight with Snaptooth. Snaptooth is an evil, kind of demented gnome or elf. It looks a lot like a gnome, but at the same time, it also kind of looks like a Santa elf, maybe. They're called the Red Caps, and he's a really big one. He also has uh, Demented Reindeer and Evil Snowmen on his side, probably from uh, on loan from Lord Winter. And your mission is given to you by Father Time and is to go after Snaptooth, beat him up, and then take back Baby New Year. After finding the key to get into the lair, you got, go in and try and attempt the rescue mission, hopefully beating up on Snaptooth because sometimes he could be a really dirty fighter and will beat you up very badly. And after you uh, get Baby near you, you, you can... Wait a minute. My god, what's wrong with his face? Uh, anyway, after saving Baby New Year, you can go to the original starting area and get back home. Now, with the new incarnate powers that have been unlocked in Sea of Heroes, there's another new quest that's been added where you go after some sort of ice witch and stop her from trying to freeze the world. Of course! Uh, this time the reindeer in the first mission are actually working with you and you can even send them off into a specified loop to go out and fight any snowmen they come across. And here we see the ravenous mutated reindeer do a battle with the arch rivals the evil snowmen. A battle that would have made Jacques Cousteau proud. After this, you have to take down three obelisks, which will then unlock uh, Lady Winter, who is not unlike a giant smurf with phallic sword and barely bare blue outfit. I think she's making up for something that Lord Winter couldn't give her. Just saying. Anyway, it's a great special. Both missions drop the candy cane salvage and also offer up costume parts and badges along with a few other little specials. 
And with the massive amounts of candy canes dropped in the Lady Winter map from the snowman, it's a huge win-win. Because -win. I have a level 50 that can do that mission now. He. Finally, the last but definitely not the least MMO is Lord of the Rings Online. This game has been great so far, other than a few little quirks here and there. But their holiday specials have been really good so far, as soon as you get the handle of them. And the winter one is especially no exception, with food eating, fireworks set up so you can actually rob people, give it to the poor, feed tables, and fill your pail while avoiding town guards, collection missions that can be done with and without fighting monsters, which are all new. And, but all in all, this is like the average stuff you do expect from an MMO, and it's not bad. But then there's the theater. The theater is awesome. In the theater, you are either actually a cr the crowd watching the play, or you are actually on the stage playing out with the uh, other NPCs. As an actor, you are to select the crowd and the players, and do emotes that fit your character. If you do a really bad emote or don't do one at all, the other players, both actors and not, can throw to rotten tomatoes at you. If you do it right, however, you are throwing leaf petals. Both throwing objects, as well as actors doing stuff, unlock deeds. For unlocking deeds, you get festival coins, as well as turbine points. Doing this entire theater thing gets you an easy 35 turbine points, and it only takes you about 2-3 to three hours at most. And all of the quests give you festival coins in this area, which go to everything from rare items to costume and special emote items. And the area you do this in is also something that they came up with just this year. All around, it's a great new little expansion for a now free-to-play game. That's about it for right now. I'm going to head back to, into playing my games before I have to leave uh, this week. So have a happy Christmas, and I'll catch you all later. Oh, <laughs>